Welcome, everybody. This is the House Cleaning Podcast, where we are helping you achieve great goals by dreaming big with your small business. My name is Danny Partida, and each week I will share new insights, strategies, and tactics with you in order to help you reach your full potential with your cleaning business. Welcome to the House Cleaning Podcast. And to episode number 36, a hiring strategy first step. Welcome to the House Cleaning Podcast and another edition of Strategy Monday. Before I begin, I want to let you know that today's show is brought to you by Audible. Audible is offering my listeners a free audiobook with a 30 day trial membership. Just go to audibletrial.com slash cleaner and browse the unmatched selection of audio programs. Download a title free and start listening. It's that easy. Go to audibletrial.com slash cleaner. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about a hiring strategy. After almost two years of researching a lot of my content for this project, and after having conducted polls on my social media accounts, it has come to my attention that a pressing issue for many house cleaning business owners and many other small business owners in general is hiring staff. Now, I know how difficult this process can be because as many of you know, I was fully immersed in managing my family's cleaning business for many years. And yes, hiring is a very difficult process to manage. But let me give you a strategy that I hope can get you started on the right foot when it comes to your next hire. You see, I believe that the hiring process is composed of five phases. They are clear expectations, training guide, mutual understanding, background checks, and training period. Now today, I'm going to talk to you about clear expectations, but let me start out by asking you this. What do you expect from your future employee? You see, many times we as business owners just expect our future hire, our future employee to somehow magically know what we expect from them. This is the point where I believe we can do a better job as business owners. We need to have clear expectations regarding what we expect from our staff. Do you expect them to be on time every day? What does being on time mean? And when you say every day, do you mean Monday through Sunday or just Monday through Friday? If you're hiring someone on a part-time basis, does that mean they start work at a different time? on just specific days? You see, it's here that many of us need to take a time out from our busy schedule. Now I know that might be hard because we as business owners, as entrepreneurs, wear so many hats that we're constantly having to put out fires. But this is necessary. It is necessary to consciously take out some time from your busy day, even if it's just a few minutes each week, to consciously work on your hiring process. Schedule an appointment with yourself for a 10, 20, 30 minutes or even an hour in the next couple of days and start working on your hiring process. Now you can go ahead and create a document on your computer, on your laptop, on your phone, or you can even do it handwritten on a sheet of paper, but do it. Make it concrete, make it physical, so you can start developing your hiring process. You can title your document, your cleaning business's name, hiring process. So for example, John's house cleaning hiring process and start off with the basics, make a headline and title it expectations and start off from there. You can even answer the questions I posed earlier and ask yourself the same question. What do I expect from my employees? Another way to do this is by having the perspective that I learned a long time ago. That perspective is to see your employees as a multiplication of you. 
If you put yourself in a copy machine, you want your employees to be a copy of you. Why? Well, because you love your business, right? And you make sure that everything you do in your cleaning business is done efficiently and effectively. So, when writing out your clear expectations, you can ask yourself, what do I expect from myself if I were my own employee? And write down your expectations. I also want to go ahead and point out that this is not your training guide. In other words, don't worry about writing anything having to do with your actual training here. You can do that in the next phase of your training process. All you want to write down here is your expectations. You should end your clear expectations section by clearly stating consequences for not meeting your expectations. What happens if your future employee arrives late X amount of times in a row? What happens if he or she accidentally breaks something in one of your customer's homes? This is also very important because when you start to actually interview or post job openings for your house cleaning business, you want to have this guideline. You want to have your clear expectations at hand so that you can either show the candidate or tell them what you expect from them. I hope this hiring process first step is useful for you or that it will at least give you some ideas regarding your next hire. But please, please remember to start working on your hiring process documentation. I know that if you're listening to my podcast, you're serious about reaching certain business goals, certain life goals, and that is why I'm asking you to also be serious about this very crucial and pressing issue. Make an appointment with yourself. If you're a solo business owner, make an appointment with yourself. Like I mentioned earlier, schedule it in your calendar. Or if you have other business partners as owners of your business, make an appointment with them and start getting all of this down on paper. The moment you start documenting processes and systems, you'll start to actually see things, even hiring, even the hiring process in a different light. To end this episode, I want to let you know that I have created a template on my website to get you started with your clear expectations documentation. It's no big deal. It's simply a text that you can copy and paste, but it can give you a start if you're having some trouble coming up with ideas. You can find it at cleanerpreneur.com slash clear expectations. Again, that's cleanerpreneur.com slash clear expectations. Clear expectations is together. And also before I leave, I want to let you know that I plan on launching a course that will take you step-by-step through the hiring process development. It will be a premium course, so it will have a price. And like I said, it will teach you step-by-step how to go through each of the phases I mentioned. And just to remind you, those phases are clear expectations, training guide, mutual understanding, background checks, and training period. If you're interested in this, I've created a landing page so you can leave your information and I can keep you updated of the launch date and relevant information. You can sign up and again, you're not signing up for the actual course yet. You're just signing up for updates on the course. And if you wish to do so, you can sign up at cleanerpreneur.com slash hiring process. Again, that's cleanerpreneur.com slash hiring process. Well, that's it for today. I wish you all the best and I wish you an excellent start to your week. Remember, dream big, take action, and reach your freedom. I'll catch you on the next episode. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of other cleaning business owners or small business owners in general, please pass them on to me. It would mean so much to me if you could help me get my insights out to as many listeners as I can. Also, if you liked what you heard, please take a few seconds and leave me a 5-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. All the best. Catch you on the next episode.